Peter Burnett, uh, welcome to The Best Pub as our uh, as a member of thebestpub.com.au and welcome uh, to this Minute with Max segment. Uh, Peter, we want to find out a little bit more about you. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Melbourne, Max, in uh, 1950. <laughs> and a young guy, Peter. That's uh, right, like you. <laughs> um, now, you are you're currently the uh, the national vice president of the AHA and you're currently the, uh, the president of the AHA Victoria. Right? Yes, I've been uh, president of Victoria now for uh, near on 12 years and uh, yeah, very proud of it. That's fantastic. Your contribution to the industry has, uh, has been very, very strong and uh, I congratulate you and thank you on behalf of many publicans. What was your first job out of, uh, out of school? I was a barman and a bottle shop attendant at a hotel in Hawthorne. In, in where? Hawthorne, Melbourne. In Hawthorne, yep. Uh, uh, so how long have you been in the hospitality industry? I left school in 1967 and went straight to hotel management course at William Angus Food Trade School. Uh -huh. Who's the best boss you've ever worked for? Myself. <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's a good bloke. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, what makes a good pub? What makes a good pub? Yeah. It's the ambience, it's the staff. It's, it comes down to the atmosphere. It's just, it's a combination for a lot of things, but give a good surroundings, great staff, make people feel welcome and friendly and safe, and I'll keep coming. So when you walk into a pub, uh, Peter, what's the first thing you look for? I look for, the first thing I look for is the cleanliness of it. I look at the car park, the car park's clean, not full of potholes. My wife's not going to get her brand new shoes wrecked. Um, we love it. And then the toilets. If the toilets are clean, that means the kitchen's clean. Yeah, good, I like that. Um, what, uh, is there one achievement you're, uh, you're most proud of? The hotel I currently own, I've had since 1980. It's taken me since 1980 to get to where I am now. And it's been a long haul, but it's been worth it. I've loved every minute of it and I'm very proud of what we've achieved. Yeah, well, with very good reason. It's a, uh, it's a fantastic pub. I'm, uh, I commend uh, uh, to anyone looking at this video that this is a must-see pub. But what about an embarrassing or memorable moment? Have you got one of those? When the uh, Holden Kingswood came out many years ago, it'd be 25 years ago now, about 1972, and I had to serve 600 ex senior executives from Holden dealers, and we had 600 people in a function room in Melbourne, and 17 waiters did not show. It was very difficult to serve all those people without 17 brick waiters. So you had to be 17 waiters in a rush, eh? We found people I didn't know could help me. <laughs> Peter, uh, two people living or dead you'd like to have dinner with? Uh, E.J. Whitten, a great friend of mine, a great Australian footballer, uh, great bloke, and the other one would be Ellie first. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what about the best idea you've ever used or seen to bring customers into a pub? Best idea, I think it's marketing these days. Uh, I, I was never a big fan of the internet, but today it is huge, absolutely huge. And our web page, then we've just reconstructed ours, and the amount of hits we get is amazing. Good stuff. Peter, thanks for, uh, for being or uh, spending this minute with Max. All right, Maxie.